All right, yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's Revolution here, and I have some more Unsaved on gameplay for you guys. And we are now playing as who am I? Ashley, Sam, Sam, Sam. Not Sam. I mean, not Ashley. It's Sam. Um. So I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go head back downstairs to meet up with the other dude that was telling us that he would help us. I have no idea. I haven't played this game in a few days, but we're just gonna go ahead and move along. Um, Seems like something's already going on. She don't seem too scared. She's just like, I'm gonna fuck somebody up if somebody fucks with me. Um, I'm not sure if I've been in this part of the house before. More than sure that I have. Yeah, I can't go that way. Okay. What's beyond this door? I feel like I left stuff behind and I'm always usually like looking around, but... I mean, for the sake of the video, I'll just keep moving. And plus, we made it into a bedroom, so I don't think we'll miss too much. Tattoo design. So it's Johan D. Smith, tattoo artist. And March 18, 2013. Clue found 9.30 a.m. Alright, so what what is this clue that we have found? Hannah has an appointment to get a tattoo. She chose a butterfly design. Oh, okay. And then there's the... There's the address and everything, okay. There's another thing shining over here. So this is her room. The girls is one of the girls that died. I don't know which one it is, but Happy Christmas 2010 sis love Josh. I love yeah, I love Josh. Yeah. Okay, so that's so Josh is the one that was telling us he need uh, he would help us, right? I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Alright, party invite. Dear Hannah, I would be delighted if you could attend my party, awesome party, at 7 p.m. 7 13, 2013, at the location La Sade Mike. Oh, ca oh, Casa de Mike. Why does it look like an L? My house. Our, okay, reservation. Crap. Gee, Hannah. Crash much? Uh, who is that? I don't know. Hey, do we go in here? Yep, we can. These are boots. What's so special? Oh, never mind. The Hello. Could this be any more about Mike? Mike and Hannah. Compatibility test. Oh, something like uh, what's it called? Um, Cosmo or something probably. So a screwed up magazine quiz. It looks like Hannah wasn't happy with the answer she got. This is it's an indication of her emotional state on the night of the twins' disappearance. Mostly sees, uh oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy reckless hunk of man and you're staying at home working on your embroidery and practicing G minor on the piano. Give it up or do something like really wild. Run away from home or get a tattoo or something. Anything to attract his precious attention. I mean, it's for love, right? So do it. Just So just do it. Yeah, that's some fucked up shit. Okay. Now that we explored her room, what else is there to look at? Her bed. We could sleep on her damn. That's a nice ass bed. Fuck. Yeah, I guess we should just leave and explore the rest of the house. Those are some creepy paintings, but that's kind of dope because it's art. All right, I'm gonna head out this way because we haven't been this way. Is that a door? That's the same door we were in the bathroom. All right, let's go meet Josh. Okay, creepy ass, creepy ass masks on the floor. I mean, on the walls. All right, well, everybody's downstairs, so we can just go there. All right, peanut gallery. You know what? I got an idea for you. What? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board, a Ouija board, or whatever. Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, man. Well, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. Welp. You up for a ride along? 
And we're still playing as Sam. Alright, well, we're gonna follow Josh to who knows where. Where are we going? Damn, this is like the quietest the game has ever been. I don't... how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Chris needs to go for it. Flattering their sweet together. Uh. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. Well, jeez. At this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> well, seems like... I mean, I feel like Josh is probably just trying to go for Sam as well, so... You know, Sam... Yes, Josh. Oh. I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that... You came. Knew it. Okay, Sam. We're gonna be back. We're ensuring we're here for you. Yep. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Why did that just get super weird right there? He looked like he was having a seizure. Hey, your step? I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. I feel like this guy's gonna murder us. He's gonna murder us and put us in a trash bag and do something. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. Ooh. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Why is he making it so damn awkward, man? Why is there... Is it yours, humorous baseball in the snow? I'm gonna be serious about this one. What's that doing here? Is that yours? Bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, we'll save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water. So, it seems I just changed something. What was he going to do if I didn't do that? I have no idea. Here, can you, can you hold this? Shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Scared. Uh, okay, cool. I was about to pick up my controller as well. I was like, shit. Okay, first things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah. Pressure thing. Oh, I just saw somebody. Oh my god, I barely even clapped his hand. I almost didn't clap his hand. My hand was off the controller, holy crap. Yo, there was somebody right behind that was walking, I saw it. What the hell is that? That could be a lot of things. That is true. None of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> I'm just... just joshing you. <laughs> oh, you were really freaked out. Wasn't scared, bring something behind you. I was not scared. No, no, you just jumped because you wanted to squeeze in some aerobics.
Yeah, I'm accusing him. Oh my god. You were totally freaked out too. What? <laughs> no. As white as a sheet. No, no, come on. I've been I've been down here enough. This place makes all kinds of sounds. I mean, big old lodge has gotta belch out sometimes. Wait, okay, so you hear them too, right? Josh. What? Mm. What? Regular about it. Check it out, Heroic. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> you scare Freddy face. No, it's, it's probably just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? We're, I'm so gonna die. Sam's gonna die. Why did, why did I even choose to do this? Because I, I am a man woman. Oh, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is that? It's Mike. I right, know it's Mike. Oh my god, my heart almost stopped. Oh. No, come on. Why are these doors locked? To, to keep out strangers. Hey. It's Mike. Hey. What the hell? Oh. You just got oh, okay, it. never mind. That's I forgot what? his name. But yeah. <laughs> nice one. Okay. <laughs> but, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? I would have. Damn, that was that was scary. Oh my god. Were you in on this putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. <laughs> Dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. Shit, I pissed myself. Oh, and he dipped that on her. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true call. <laughs> hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. Okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that Josh. He has the key mode. Okay. Josh is an evil person. Uh, oh, oh, we're back with uh, Mr. Uh, what's his face? Oh. What the fuck is up with your room, dude? Okay, I don't know what's up with this guy, but he's kind of mental. Your office, bro, it's kind of, uh, fucked up. I would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share? No, I don't. And there's a damn spider right there. And how do you feel about people who are afraid? Uh, I feel sympathy. I despise them. <laughs> sympathy. I see. Well, Chris has a fear of failure. Do you feel pity for him? Oh. No. no, I don't. Indeed. That is apparent from the choices you made. All right. Cuz I don't tell lies. Any more questions, bud? And now let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Okay. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Why did you sit down like that? <laughs> Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Mm, I value honesty. So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. 
And what about honesty then? And charity? Oh, you're honest, eh? <laughs> charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? I mean, I'd much rather be honest, again, no matter the I'm consequences. We're, out of time. we'll talk again soon. we're already out of time. We just had like a two minute session, bro. What's happening? Alright, well, we're going to continue up in the next episode because I don't want to see through this whole like recap of what has happened already. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.